Hello everybody, a little bit nervous about this submission here because it is my first pre-screen ever. I've always been trepidatious about trying a pre-screen because, you know, if you send in 25 books and you get a harsh grader, you just wasted what? Including shipping fees and all that stuff, maybe 300 bucks? Yeah, <laughs> so it's a doozy. So I'm like, whatever, man. You also have a chance that if you think a book is 9.8 and it comes back 9.6 on a regular submission, well, you can avoid that for only $8 as well. So, I mean, that is the flip side to the coin. So, I had to overcome my fear, YOLO, right? And be like, okay, let's just do this. But I didn't have 25 books that I thought were 9.8s. So, I had maybe five. Then I had a bunch that I thought maybe were 9.6 and then some 9.4s and a couple 9.2s and I'm like, what the heck? Let's just gamble, send them in, and see what happens. I mean, whatever, man. It's a learning experience no matter what happens. So I got some books back, and let's just go through them. I mean, I'm just going to pull them out one by one. We know if it's slabbed, it's going to be a 9.8. Oh, man, a little bit nervous. So let's just pull out books one by one, and we'll go over them. Now, I think four or five of these are the same books, so we'll go through those pretty quickly. But the other ones are mostly Copper Age. I think it might be all, or maybe mostly Copper Age stuff. You know, that is the era I collected as a kid. I'm a child of the 80s, so obviously that's my era to collect comics for the most part. I love bronze, love silver, love the new books, but, you know, this is where I am as far as Copper Age goes. It's what came in the mail to me. I had subscriptions to it. I saw it on the stands back then. Nostalgia and all that stuff make it kind of just my favorite era of comic books. So yeah, let's don't wait any longer. Let's dive into this and see exactly what we got here. Now I'm not going to look, I'm just going to randomly reach down here, pull them out book by book, and just see what happens. All right, I got one. Pull it out of the plastic wrapper. Okay, Wolverine number two. I think I might have two copies of this in here. But I had submitted one of these and gotten it back. I think my childhood copy ended up having some kind of weird ink on the back or something, so I didn't get a copy of it. Any nine point anything. It was a 5.0 actually. I mean, this is like maybe my original childhood unboxing video from way back. If you remember back that far, if you were a subscriber of the channel back, actually I probably only had like 200 subscribers back then. But yeah, um, so yeah, Wolverine 2, very happy to get that in a 9.8. It's a gorgeous book. So that's a good start. It's not a high dollar book, but yeah, it's it's a cool book, right? All right, let's go for number two here. Let's go from the end, see what we get. Oh, there is no, I swear I picked the middle on the first book of just the whole batch, and I picked this from the end. That is freaky. <laughs> What are the odds of that? I mean, 1 in 25, well, I don't even know, I'm not a math guy, but yeah, another 9.8. One of these, if I remember correctly, I've actually got the list here. Um, I can tell you what I paid for these books, and as we go through, I'll do that, and then I'll put the current values at 9.8, uh, based on what GP Analysis says for latest sales, and they have last three year sales, I believe, on there. So that's, it, some people have asked where I get my values from, and that's, that's where I get it from, GP Analysis. I find it to be the best and most accurate. Okay, so I paid $32 each for these, and I thought each one was a 9.6. One was a 9.6, and one was maybe a borderline 9.6, 9.8. And my grading, according to my grading tool, and if you don't know what that is, I developed a grading tool. It's an Excel sheet. I give it away for free. Now, there's a link in the description to it if you want to check it out. But yeah, very happy to get the uh, two 9.8s in that one. So let's keep going. I don't want this, I don't know how many books I have here. I have an idea, but I don't want to make this video too long, so let's truck on here. Picking from the middle this time. All right, spawn number nine. First, Angela. This one I paid $4 for, and both my grading tool and the Spot On app thought this was a 9.4. So here we go, 9.8. Yeah, a lot of these books were a stretch, but apparently the grader thinks that was a 9.8, so I will take it. So let's go to the next book. I'm going to pick from the other end this time. All right. 
Okay, a spawn number eight. I think I do have four or five copies of this in here. Um, but yes, yeah, number number eight is a classic cover. The homage, obviously, Spider-Man number one. And we'll take a 9.8. The spawn eight. Now, I have several copies, so I don't know which one this one is. I paid anywhere from $2 <laughs> for this up to $4. So yeah, I got these for like very, very, very cheap. And I got some of them in a lot and some of them just by themselves. But I didn't pay more than four bucks for any of these. And the first one I got, 9.8. All right, how many is that? So we got four out of 25 at least. Okay, if we get a 10 out of 25, eh, I'll think it's a success, right? A moderate success. Let's pull out of here again. All right. Okay, another spawn. All right, this is number three. First time I've owned this book. And uh, I kind of fell in love with the art. I mean, look at that. That's pretty ridiculous how great that is. But anyway, spawn number three, number 9.8. I paid $4.33 for this book and got my 9.8. So yeah, uh, this was a gorgeous book. All right, let's dig in here again. Go from the middle this time. All right, a web of Spider-Man number 97. And I believe that's first Nightwatch. Uh, or at least the character that becomes Nightwatch. But yeah, glad to get a 9.8 for that book. I think this book has some potential um, to be a valuable book one day. So the next one, just going to randomly pull here. I've got a couple big books I'm a little bit nervous. I hope they made the 9.8, but we'll see. This is a nice book. I mean, X-Men 211 has a little bit of value to it as well. I mean, classic Wolverine cover. So I paid $10 for this book. This is one of the most flawless copies of any X-Men book I've ever owned. It had one defect on it. I thought this was somewhere between 9.8 and 9.9. .9. It's like one of these 9.85 books, but this one might be like a 9.89. .9. So if I was ever going to get a 9.9, .9, this has a good chance. It literally has one defect. It's just perfect otherwise. But yeah, certainly happy to have the 9.8. I don't have any kind of pipe dreams of getting 9.9s, but I will take the 9.8 on this book. All right, let's go again. Right from the very end. All right, another spawn. Very, very cool cover as well. Got the black and white and the color in the middle there. Um, this is uh, spawn number 10. I paid $2.16 for this book. And my grading tool thought 9.4, and so did the other one. And yeah, another 9.4 that's a 9.8. <laughs> Very, very happy about that, and uh, we're at, so that's eight books. If we can get two more 9.8s, I will be happy with a submission. So let me go from the other end this time. All right, another spawn number eight. Um, we won't believe a point on this. We paid $2 or $4 for this book, but we'll certainly be glad to get another 9.8 and a spawn number eight. All right, here we go. Go from that other end again. All right. Okay, another spawn. I forgot that I had submitted so many spawns at the submission. This is number five. Paid four dollars and thirty-three cents for this book, and I thought it was a nine point six. And the other grading app also thought it was a nine point six. So we'll take the nine point eight. I don't know if you remember that cover, but isn't that cool? But yeah, love that. Okay, let's go from the middle this time. Another spawn eight. I think I had four or five of these, so we won't believe the point on that. But I think I just hit 10 books. We hit 11 books. I'm, I missed the number 10 threshold, but we'll be happy. So if I don't get any more 9.8s, if I just pull out raw books now, we're successful. Um, I didn't get my 9.8s on the bigger books I have in the submission, which I'll, I don't even remember what they are, but I do remember there were a couple. Yeah, there's a couple big keys in here. Uh, fairly big keys from the Copper Age, so fingers crossed. All right. Okay, a silver edition. I finally, finally got my 9.8 in the silver. Now, I knew it was going to be off-white to white. Um, it definitely is off-white to white. Cover, outer, outer cover is a little bit off-white, but the inner cover, inside pages are definitely off-white to white. But I'm still tickled to death to have my 9.8 because that's the one of the ones missing on my wall up here. 
I did not have the silver edition in a 9.8. I had been trying for some time. I've gotten a couple 9.6s, but yeah, I'll take that all day long. Looks like we got more in here. All right, what do we got? Okay, that might be the last spawn number eight. <laughs> Sorry to have the same book so much, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna argue with any 9.8 for any book. From this end. All right, one of my favorite all-time covers got a 9.8. This one might have been one of those stretch books. Yeah, this one I paid $18 for, and I thought it was a 9.2. Spot on grading tool agreed with me and thought it was a 9.2. So this was the book in here that I thought I had no chance of getting a 9.8, but I was like, I needed a couple more books to go in the submission to get to my 25. And uh, so why not, right? And I somehow got it. Yeah, <laughs> that is a little bit of a surprise there. I thought that would be in the raw books. So that makes me think I've got some hope here for some of the bigger books that I sent, but here we go. All right, spot number eight. I I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I, I think I didn't have more than five, so. Okay, that's 15 books. Far exceeded my expectations as of now. So anything else that is in this box is gravy in my opinion. So let me take a look. All right. Okay, another X-Men, number 209. Anything in this range, um, not terribly valuable, but once again, if it looks like a, this one might have actually looked like a 9.8. That's why I submitted it. Yeah, I thought this was a 9.6 to 9.8 borderline. And the other grading app thought it was a 9.4. So anytime I think I can get a 9.8, I think it's worth the gamble, especially as a pre-screen because I'm only out, what, $8 plus shipping or whatever if I don't get it. So very, very cool on that one. All right, what's next? Another X-Men from the same time period. Actually, this is the next one, 210. And uh, paid 10 bucks for this one. Also thought this was a 9.6, and the other grading app also agreed, 9.6, we got our 9.8. So this one has that purplish black cover, makes it a little bit hard to get a 9.8. So very happy to get the 9.8 on that one because I don't think that's the easiest in the world to get 9.8 on, I could be wrong. Anytime you see those dark colors, makes a little bit difficult because color breaks just show you know very easily on that let's go for this one all right okay green version and this one got white pages i think this is the regular version so this one i paid 32 dollars for but it was hands down a definite 9.8 just had one or two defects on it no doubt in my mind this one also had slightly off-white to white pages but I guess it just barely made the grade and got the white pages. So, yeah, happy to get that book as well. So we got two Spider-Man number ones in the submission. I've already got a copy of that one, but I'll take another. All right, got another one. Oh, yes! <laughs> Boom. Okay, this one I do not have any 9.8, and it's been like, you know, hope, dream, <laughs> that I would one day have this in a 9.8. So this is big. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> tickled to death. And this one, this one I thought was a 9.4. Spot on grading tool, 9.0. I paid about 200 bucks for this book. So yeah, it's worth a little bit more than that. Of course, I'm putting the numbers on the screen. But yeah, this is a big one. Um, getting this one in a 9.8, this is not going anywhere. This is on my wall. Somewhere up here. I have my 9.0 up there on the wall right now, and this is probably going to replace it. Now, this is not a new stand. That's the next goal, maybe a stretch goal to eventually get that in a new stand 9.8. But I am never going to argue with a 9.8 in this one of the most classic, beautiful covers ever done. Great story, first full Venom cover. And, uh, you know, 315 had a mini Venom on it, just the head. This one is the first full appearance. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that. So this is the big book of the bunch so far, and, and we did very well getting a 9.8, and I'm glad I pre-screened it with this grader, who seems to be, I don't want to say on the loose side, but definitely not on the conservative side. So we got a lot of books here. <laughs> this is like way beyond my wildest dreams, getting this many 9.8s. I don't know if there's anything left in here or not, 
I'm doing this by feel, so I'm going to go ahead and try again, see if there's another book in here. There is. At least one more. Okay, Christmas book, number 314, Amazing Spider-Man. Don't have that in a 9.8. I'm trying to get the entire McFarlane run for Amazing Spider-Man in a 9.8. This is going to go a long way to getting there. And this book is actually pretty difficult. I mean, it's got all the dark colors on it. You know, it's a little bit hard to get a 9.8, you know. Not as hard as some other books, but I'll definitely be glad to have that 314 in an A9.8. I thought this was a borderline 9.6 to 9.8. Spot on grading tool thought 9.4. So once again, my tool wins, which is making me very, very happy. All right, do we have any left? Sorry for the, such a long video. I didn't intend for this to be such a long video, but I'm very happy it is a long video because that means we're doing very, very well. We had a grader that was having a very good day. Okay, can we continue on? Yo, yes! That is the other book. Oh, man. Woo! <laughs> this was the big stretch right here. Whew. Man, you guys know how big this book is. This is an awesome awesome submission. I, I don't even... Whew. So this one, this this made my week, my month, my quarter. Okay, you're not going to believe this. $10. That's right. I got this for $10. It's worth a little bit more than $10 now. And uh, sometimes you can find a bargain. Well, this is like the ultimate bargain right here. I thought it was a 9.4. Spot on grading tool actually thought this was a 9.6, so it got me on that one. I was a little bit conservative, but I'm looking at this thing. Holy cow, that is a nice looking book. That is one nice looking book. But yeah, let me, let me count these books real quick. I kind of lost count. That is 21 out of 25 books so far. I can't, I just can't believe it. I only had five 9.8s on my list that I thought were 9.8s. And three of those were borderline 9.8s, I think. I mean, this is kind of ridiculous. Ridiculously good. And, yeah, I don't, I'm kind of speechless, I guess. So let, let me just see if we got any more. That might be it. We got at least one more. Okay. You know, there's number 22. Could we possibly have another book in here? No. I don't see anything, don't feel anything. Wait, oh, there actually is a book in here. Okay, now, I have no idea what this is, but whatever it is, I'm over the moon right now. I don't care, maybe it's an Amazing Fantasy 15, wouldn't that be cool? But no, we do, oh, okay, yeah, we have the X-Men 216, I love this cover. And uh, it's a minor key, I believe? Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know what the value is, but, you know, I guess you do because I'm putting it on the screen as I edit this. But, yeah, 216 I paid $10 for it, and I thought this was definitely a 9.8. It's one of the few books I thought was a solid 9.8, and we got our 9.8. Now, what raw books? There's two of them. That's 23 books. Only two raw books came back. I mean, if you're going to give me a 9.2 that's a 9.8, I'll just give me all of them. <laughs> all right? I'm not complaining. No. Oh, we got an Amazing Spider-Man 310. And we got an X-Men 220. Yeah, that's a very, very... Look at that cover. That's virtually impossible. I'll probably go ahead and resubmit these, and I'd be happy with 9.4s or 6s on them or whatever. And uh, I'm probably going to resubmit them anyway. And obviously, I really love the pre-screen process now. <laughs> If, I, if I've gotten five books back 9.8 or whatever, I probably wouldn't like the pre-screen process. But how can I not love it? 23 out of 25. Let me show you. I mean, you can kind of see part of the stack. Let me get this out of the way. Can you see the stack here? I don't know if you can see them all. I don't even know if I can pick this up. I don't know if I should pick this up. Look at that. 23 out of 25 books when I only thought four or five were possible 9.8s. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous about having this giant stack here, so I'm going to stop and in this video soon and, and put this somewhere safe. And yeah, let's just keep this journey going together. The next plan is to, once I get done with a bunch more books, I think I've got four submissions out right now, and I've got two more I'm working on right now, 
and then I got a couple an economy submission I'm doing I'm resubmitting some of the purple label books to see if we can't get the clean label on those and that's probably going to take another month or so oh by the way the turnaround time on this submission was 20 days uh, the day I shipped it out to the day it came back to my doorstep 20 days CGC had it and it took them two days to grade it so that was kind of a good sign I thought because you know the longer they're grading it maybe that means they have to slab it a little bit longer and that means more books so if you're watching the tracking or whatever with CGC you can kind of get an idea of course I guess I could just look but I like the surprise right I like to have the books come back and share it with you and you know that way we can do this together so yeah I just can't believe how this went today thank you very much for everybody that's supporting me on the channel I appreciate that you make me keep doing things like this all the comments are generally positive I mean I don't know if I've ever had a negative maybe one or two it's just been infinitely, the positivity in this hobby just is just unbelievable. I don't think there's any other hobby out here, out there in the world that has the kind of family atmosphere that this hobby does. Everybody just kind of just wants everybody to do good in this hobby. Everybody's supportive of everybody. I, I just, there's not much negativity, and that's what I love about this hobby is, yeah, I just love the good vibes, right? <laughs> so let's keep it going, and don't forget to stay nerdy, and we'll see you in the next video.